Oh boy, oh boy, welcome back to Subnautica. My name is Waddles, I hope you're doing well today. I'm doing very, very good. Today we actually are going to follow <laughs> what I plan out in the beginning of the episode. Uh, in this episode, we will be doing base work. Uh, last episode, we ended up exploring a bit, which was always fun, or is always fun, but I didn't really get to do all of the expansion that I wanted to do. So, uh, we ended up... Um, at the end of the last episode messing with the power stuff and I had a power thing on the hill and it went into the building in a weird way and I didn't really like it. Uh, so then I thought about it off camera and I decided to make a power thing down here so then we just had this small beam kind of cutting right up to the base. Uh, you know what? Matter of fact, we're going to move this a little bit more and put it right under the base. So then we should get a connection going... Uh, from there, yep, right up to the bottom, and it's kind of completely out of the way. I like that a whole lot more. Now, I never really talked about it, but um, that's going to give us 325 power in the base, and every time that vent blows, uh, you know, lava out, so pretty often, um, we're going to get another surge of power. So let's say I use up the power, like, with the radio, right? Um, this is life pod ah. <laughs> I guess the radio doesn't really use power, but if I'm... Uh, well, you know what? We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters oh. straight up. Sounds deep. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Uh huh. <laughs> um, well, that sounds deep, 500 meters straight up. But what I was saying is, let's say we use a little bit of power. Um, the power is going to go down, and then um, it'll go back up when the thing resurges. But let's expand the base now. So I do want to go down with um, this segment here. I think we could go uh, probably down and like across or something. Uh, and then we probably want. Uh, or we will want reinforcements in here somewhere. Now, I think we can do other reinforcements, too. Um, where is it? There's an internal one. Um, maybe I don't have it. Uh, oh, it's this. This bulkhead um, is, is good for reinforcing your base, too, I think, but... Uh, we'll just do um, the wall ones. The wall ones are better anyways, but inside we do need to... Oh. You know what? I need more titanium. I've been stocking up on tons of titanium, though, so it's not a problem. We needed a, a proper storage room, so that's what I was thinking about maybe doing down here, below our food room. Uh, if we did storage down below, I think that would kind of make sense, right? So we do, a, like, a ladder here so we can go down, and then maybe this could be our storage area, and then we'll have hallways coming off of it, so this becomes the center main part of our base. I think we'll leave this hallway here so we can get in and out, um... But we might take off one segment of the hall. I don't know. Um, I don't know, though. I, uh, <laughs> I'm so torn. I'm always a conflicted person. I, I'd like to do one thing, but then I'm like, uh, uh, do we really want to do that? I don't know. Um, I think the shape is cool, though. That's good. So uh, maybe we want to go... Because hmm, I want a water thing in our base, too. If we could have water uh, in our base, like, like, you know, crafting or... Uh, whatever, you know, <laughs> in our base, if we could have, uh, where is it, um, this thing, the water filtration, filtration machine, excuse me, in here, we would have infinite water, so maybe, can we throw that in, like, this corner, ooh, we can't, mmm, it's not gonna fit in here because of how I have my beds, ah-ha, I'm gonna have to move this, <laughs> I need to, I, I need to have the machine in here, so, Ah, mm. I have to. I I 100% need to. Mm. Okay, so water machine can go right there in the corner. Um, then uh, I think we'll actually move the ladder. We'll put the ladder on the outside of our base because I don't know if we'll actually put anything over on this side. I like to have everything open on the inside. Then we're gonna want a window right there so i need to go make some glass which i have a lot of quartz so i can do that um hmm or you know i don't even need to grab any more quartz uh, it's all ready to go uh so here we go glass and you know what we'll do we'll go ahead and take um an interior grow bed and put it back over here this time uh, because i still do want to have the two grow beds inside of this area but uh, it just doesn't really work. I don't want to block this off because that might become a hallway um, to go somewhere. So I don't really know. But here's our window. Uh, we have a window looking over at our base now. Uh, but let's go down and let's add another window maybe 
Ah, let's find the window. Maybe we'll put it... Hmm, I don't know. Hmm, let's put it here. Uh, I would say right there, but I think we're going to do a hall over there. You know what? Let's do a door, too. Um, do we want the door there? Um, uh, oh, we have to go outside. Yeah, I think this is a good spot for a door because then we kind of can come in uh, and if this does become our storage room, I'm not sure if it will, but I think it will. Uh, if that's our storage room, then we can kind of, you know, enter right uh, by the storage. Then uh, I think we probably want like a glass hall coming off of here. We will need to go get more glass, but that would be cool, right? Cutting, cutting right across. Um, and then we'll probably have to do a turn. Uh, eventually when we get to it. So we could do like a turn there, and then maybe we have our other... I, I wanted to do another moon pool. Uh, so maybe the other moon pool would go out there. I don't know though. Uh, we don't really need to do the moon pool thing yet because uh, we're kind of good. We're kind of like fine um, with our base and expansion and everything like that. So I'm not going to worry about that yet. Okay, so I moved the uh, the other reinforcement that we had over to here, and then I think we'll put one more uh, reinforcement on this corner, and then maybe like a window over here so we can kind of, you know, see out towards our base that is going to be, you know, expanding that way. But I think it's time that we upgrade our lockers and, uh, you know, kind of start moving stuff down here. So we have an entrance right there, then we'll definitely want more like windows on this thing i might even move this reinforcement um up honestly that could go in this room probably like if i put the reinforcement up here or maybe i just move it over now honestly okay anyways uh we're gonna go with the big lockers now finally so that means we can do uh maybe we'll put one here right in front of the window and then we'll put probably another locker right next to it that would kind of make sense or you know what maybe we could even we might be able to fit three. If I if I re-space these lockers, we should be able to put three lockers. Well, hmm, do we really want three lockers there? Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's put it like that, right? Kind of angled on the corner. Then we can do one uh, flat one, right? In the middle, or kind of in the middle. I know it's a little off center. Uh, oh, I'm out of titanium. Okay, I'm moving everything. Uh, it's time to just kind of, I think, get rid of this part of the base. I don't really need that hall there. Like, uh, I'll probably leave the glass hall because it's kind of nice, right? But I could take this whole closed segment off and I could move the hatch in a little bit more and just kind of have a closer together base, if you will. Like, uh, yeah, I did decide to move the window, but there we go. We have our three lockers. Now I can actually get organized excuse me uh so we'll put all of our ores over here and then in the middle one eventually and then i'm putting everything else like alien things over here and then maybe we make um like a wall locker somewhere hmm well you know what we could do because we do need to recreate our fabricator that i took apart so uh we'll put the fabricator on this wall maybe right in the middle uh oh i need everything back <laughs> <laughs> I put it all away, and uh, yep, mm -hmm. we needed uh, gold and titanium, probably. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we'll put the uh, fabricator right there, and then we could do a wall locker right next to it. Uh, and on the other side, too, probably. And put a little bit of other storage things, like these fancy, fancy things that I picked up that I kind of don't know where to really put. We'll just do something like that, maybe, and we'll call it special special oh and this thing so this machine is going to make water for us uh we want to go and check it out every once in a while we'll get salt and we will get water as well from it so that's very very good we can use salt for uh curing food which means the food will last longer and then of course we can use water to drink right like the water is for us and uh we don't have to worry about hunting bladder fish or anything like that like we just have water uh, being farmed and created in our base and eventually this is going to make uh, more water than we would ever need and i'll store extra water in that same room kind of like how i'm storing um uh, extra seeds for our plants in that room uh, i think that's going to be the best way to do it and it'll keep everything organized and with my storage situation kind of like how i'm you know setting everything up all of my items are going to be in this part of the base so if i need 
like food, I can go up here, and then if I need crafting stuff, I can go down low, and yeah, I think that's going to make sense. The only thing that's going to be a little weird is uh, jumping in from the Seamoth and running all the way through the base to get down to where I actually, um, you know, have all of my stuff. So that's why we'll probably want to make a different moon pool uh, closer to that part of the base. Okay, now that comes off, and then the hatch goes right back on on this glass compartment uh, to make this. Oh, yeah. So now we enter through our old entrance, and we see that. That's way, way more appropriate for what we have now. Then we have our Seamoth, our locker with, uh, like, part upgrades and things. I guess I could really take some of that special stuff and throw it over here. I wanted to keep this stuff near the Seamoth, though, at least for now, until I make, like a tool room or something like that, and then I think I heard uh, water. Aha, uh -huh, yep, yep, we have water right here ready, and salt as well. We'll have to collect that every once in a while, and I should definitely go... Oh, you know what? I have enough right now. Let's just go ahead and throw a locker right here and call this uh, salt. We'll store our salt in this locker. I don't know if I will ever really use the salt. Uh, it's just not useful uh, to me. I pick the melons when I need them, and then I kind of put them back. But let's take a look at the outside of our base really quick. Uh, I'm thinking about doing, hmm, maybe a moon pool coming right off of here, like we just put. Uh, I'm not going to actually craft it. We're just going to take a look. But I think I could put it, hmm, yeah, something kind of like that, right? Like just, just popping off of it. Um, I, you know, maybe we want to do a turned hall so we could have like a hallway going... Oh, we can't do that? Why can't we? Hmm. Hmm, that's weird. What's in the way? Uh, maybe it's that. Maybe I need to cut this away? Could it be the creep, creep vine? Really? Um. Uh, no. Hmm. That's really weird. Uh-huh. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll, we'll move the glass window that's right there and do... Like, a, a turn right here instead. And then we can do the moon pool over there, hopefully. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to make the extra moon pool, though, until we actually need that. But I think that is going to be today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying Subnautica as much as I am. And I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.